All right, Jay, DM is back. Ugh, what to do today? Well, here's what we're gonna do. You already saw the header or the title, so we are going to take a look at this. Uh, special thanks to my buddy for letting me borrow this and do a reboxing unboxing of this microphone. It is the Hollyland Lark. <laughs> Lark. <laughs> You, you, you've turned an enjoyable little job that I did as a lark for a few uh, years into a colossal waste of time. One, you can't take yourself seriously. I mean, calling yourself lark is just kind of odd, but uh, it's the 150 Duo two-person wireless mic system, easily available on any given website. And these are basically budget mics, but um, just from testing them, I mean, they'll be good in most general interview applications or if you do YouTube videos, which I probably should invest in one of these or maybe somebody knows, sponsor out there knows, hey, maybe. <laughs> Anyhow, let's just go ahead and open this. We'll do a little dramatic pause here as the box just kind of does its thing. And we'll put that right there. And then we have a pretty hefty user's manual, which man, that's a, uh, Although it's in probably 10 different languages. I mean, the book isn't really that big, come to think of it. Uh, and then an after sales card, if you're not satisfied, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully we are satisfied. Let's see what's in the box here. Well, this is what holds the mic and is also the charger. And let's go ahead and do this thing. I guess you just kind of maybe there we go all right we got that up. so let's go ahead and open this and see what we got well i can see we got a some kind of charge because the mics immediately turned on and you get this little guy which is a transmitter another transmitter and then your receiver and then you can see kind of toward the bottom of the box there you can see the charging elements um, I guess that's included and then there's a little uh, plug on the back where you can plug it in via USB and, and charge up the box itself so and it's this is a I mean that's it's a well-constructed box it is solid it doesn't feel flimsy at all they they definitely put some thought and and I mean yeah it's that's good the mics feel a little more flimsier. Now, there's a couple things with these mics I could probably say I don't like. The first thing that kind of worried me about these transmitters and this receiver was, well, hell, I'm gonna have to get some kind of adapter to put it onto the top of my camera. And I just have a camera here that I just generally use for work, but I'm just gonna use it to illustrate that you just take it and you kind of undo the clip a little bit and just kind of, whoop, and there you go. It's on there. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that solved that problem. Once I discovered that, I was like, well, that's, that's simple enough. Anyhow, let's see if we got some power here. And, new power. Well, we may have to let these charge up for a little bit and then continue this video. Um, <laughs> it was charged. It just took a, a minute for it to obviously turn on. So we have a line out here. And don't worry, I am going to use these mics and illustrate them. I'm going to have to do it a different way. I I really would like to do it on camera, but what I'm going to have to do is probably plug into a microphone port on one of my laptops and just do a quick recording on testing them and seeing how they work. Uh, as far as the range, uh, it doesn't, I don't know if it says or not, but it's, it's, let's just say it's far enough. If you're doing some type of sporting thing or adventure thing, you may want to consider something else. But I mean, as far as just run and gun doing stuff. And the nice part about these mics is they actually, you can just clip the lapel on or you can clip it on the lapel and just use this and there's a mic built into it. So you don't even have to deal with the wire or anything. But you're still dealing with this you know it's it's small box but it's still you know a little bulky so with that let's finish the unboxing here and we have this i'm gonna say it's a nice little 
package deal here. And nice little cloth bag. Somebody did point out, interesting, I was looking at a few reviews, why most of the accessories don't fit in the box. I can't answer that. I mean, it seems like it would be logical, but as long as you just keep what you generally need and then just the rest in here, you got your charger cable there. <clears throat> and the first lav mic that goes with uh, one transmitter and then the other mic, which, well, that's not a mic, that's something else. There's the mic, yep. And then we get two types of cable connectors. No XLR, so we can kind of see who these are geared toward. Uh, granted that there's no XLR connector. Well, that's okay, because we want to keep these small and, and uh, I mean, you can still have the adapter, I suppose, or just buy one if you need it. Uh, what's in here appears to be the, if I can get the bag open, that thing is taped shut. Well. So much for salvaging the bag, but okay. Um, we have earmuffs. No, they're uh, they're for the microphones. I guess you just can kind of clip them on, take this right off, and then you can obviously put on the wind guard somehow like that. So it looks like you have a fluffy little tribble type thing on your lapel. <laughs> That's for really windy conditions. Um, obviously, you would use that. I would recommend probably keeping these on because it helps deaden any type of uh, pops in the microphone and stuff like that when you're speaking, T's and P's especially. Uh, yeah, these aren't bad. I mean, they're a little bigger than I imagined. I, I thought they'd be a little bit smaller, but who knows? Let's go ahead and plug these in and see how they sound and see if there's any other features because I really don't see much for in the way of menus. A mute. And then, I guess volume level there. I don't imagine you really need to shut these off when they're charging. I'd imagine they go into some kind of standby. So yeah, then we have both mics here appearing on the uh, very bright display and set in mono mode. So I guess you can do a stereo mode too as well. So I'm just wondering on the output if it sends one to the right and one to the left. So let's go ahead and check out the audio and, and see how it sounds. As the doves start firing up, uh, they're cooing as usual. I was going to do this one outside because it seemed like it was quiet, but the minute I set up out there, of course, uh, somebody starts mowing their lawn and an airplane starts flying over my house. So that didn't quite work out. Let's get to the test. Okay, we got the laptop just for this type of use. We're gonna use the laptop and go ahead and do that mode and it is recording. Okay, fifth try. This is a uh, fifth try because I wasn't happy with the audio I was getting through the different sources I was trying. So I popped out this old Sony X70, wired it into the mic input and tried to get a better test of sound quality through these mics and a more objective, subjective, somewhere in there. Just try to get a more clear view of, of, of how the audio sounds with these mics. And right now, I am using just the pack itself with no mic. Actually, the mic's right there. So that's what that sounds like right now. You may hear a lot of background noise, but there is a lot of noise in my room from fans and things like that that I can't really shut off, so bear with me. Okay, now we will try with the lav mic. And one thing I'm noticing, I don't think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is mute the other microphone, hoping that I could probably separate the audio in, in post, but yeah, see there's a lot, with the lav, there's a lot less room noise. So that's one thing you're probably gonna experience by using the lav mic is it may, your voice may not sound exactly the way you want, but overall it does cut down the room noise where if I unplug it, then And now it's unplugged and I don't know, yeah, maybe it's just, maybe it's just having the extra mic on. Let's try them both in tandem here and see what happens. Okay. So this is both mics uh, on the lapel. So there's your test there. One other function I want to cover real quick and I'll leave one mic here is if you look at the display here, you can actually change the functions right now it's in stereo. So what it's doing is it's doing a right left thing or channel one and channel two on channels 
Right now it's doing a channel one and two thing, or right and left, so you can actually separate the two different microphones, which is handy. But if you press and hold, now it's in mono mode, so no matter which mic you use, it's coming through on both channels. And then there's another mode called Safe Track. And I'm not really sure what the objective of Safe Track is. I guess it's something to do with these are stereo mics somehow, and it sends through both channels from what it says in the instructions, but it's, it's rather vague. And I skipped the phone mode uh, pretty quick because there actually is no audio. I'm not sure exactly how the phone mode works yet. I'll have to look more into that. But as far as functionality, that's all I found. I'm not sure if you press and hold this, what happens? Oh, I guess it's the same, it's the same thing. It said the left one specifically, but if you press and hold the right one, then you get the same exact. So flipping through, whether you push the right or left button, it goes through those different selections between stereo, mono, and I just wanted to cover that real quick on functionality. There is also a headphone jack on the side here if you don't have one on your camera, which is also very handy to have. Overall, as the doves start going crazy again, I gotta say I give these uh, microphones uh, definitely a thumbs up. I'm not gonna say two because I, I have to agree with, with the whole case thing that it, it really should be able to fit all your equipment. All I can see you can fit into this is basically you got you can stick in your mics just like so as my doves start going berserk now that I'm trying to finish up the video and everything's in there but then by the time you put your little you know your cord in here and try to fit that really that's it that's all you're gonna fit in there there's no way you're gonna fit in a, a lav mic there's just not enough space so you'd have to carry these like in a separate compartment which is kind of strange and odd to me that yeah i'm, I'm gonna have to agree with the person on that just making it just a little wee bit bigger would have been a, a smarter idea but that is the holly Hollyland. <laughs> it's just funny. I just noticed something. Is it is it Hollyland or is it Holly View or is maybe just the Hollyland the mic series and Holly View is the actual company? Who knows? Anyways, that's the Lark 150 Duo mic system. We'll see you next time on IJDM. I hope you like the video. If you do, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching. One quick side note, and this is a post uh, kind of final up. Make sure you pull off all these these crazy uh, protector stickers because I noticed the one thing if you don't and I've heard of people complaining of problems with the mics yeah there's a tab over the, the actual charging connectors so you do have to pull that off in order for them to charge up which I'm guessing is about probably a good 99% of the people that say the mics no longer work is probably because they didn't get a charge and with that strip over there that little uh, connector yeah, you're gonna have an issue if you don't peel these things off. And I mean, I almost missed it. And I just happened to look and said, wait a minute, that shouldn't be there. So now they can make the connection. So there's a lot of stuff you had to peel off of these things, crazy.